hello guys welcome back to my channel mr electric diy in this video i'm going to talk about mpcb what is mpcb and mpcb is the initialism of motor protection circuit breaker m for the motor p for protection c for circuit and b for breaker if you are thinking of how this got the name mpcb then that is where it is coming from motor protector circuit breaker we have them in different brands this is chains we have siemens here and the legacy we have many of them so in this video i'm, I'm actually going to focus on this chains they are all the same they offer the same protection so i'm going to talk about this chains motor protector or the mpcb we have different names for it i just call it gather moto moto protector moto breaker and all that but the actual name is mpcb motor protection circuit breaker you can, you can also call it any other name that you know now you could see that this siemens motor protector has extra terminals here this is the power terminals one two three one two three and also there's another terminals at this side that, that is the auxiliary terminals the 21 and 22 that is normally closed you have 13 and 14 that, that is the normally open these terminals can be used to do trip indications and all that but with the tent we don't have such terminals but we have it and that is what we are going to uncover in this video we have this normally open and normally closed terminals on this but you cannot see it and in this video i'm going to uncover this basic and professional features for you so what i want from you is to stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and like this video now what mpcb does is that it offers protection it protects your motor and these mpcbs offer three protections that is this overload protection short circuit protection and phase failure protection if you are new to this mpcb we have the input terminals and the output the incoming power that is line one line one line two line three we have it written here line one line two line three that is the incoming and the outgoing the input and the output and the output we have t1 t2 and t3 you could also see that we have number one here before the the line one there is a slash here we have one, we have two here, we have three here, we have four here, we have five and six. It is numbered like the way a contactor is numbered. And as I said, we are going to talk about the overload protection, the short circuit protection and the phase failure. Now, you could also see that we have current adjusting knob. Before you use the current adjusting knob, you have to look at the current rating of your motor. This is for three phase motors only. Have to look at the current rating that is on the motor and then you use you to set this knob here you can just insert your screw this is my tester i'll just insert it and i'll be able to set the value that i want and when you are setting it you have to set it slightly higher than the current rating on the motor don't set it exactly the current rating on the motor slightly higher than the current rating on the motor that is the way we do it and with the overload protection, let's assume that my motor, they have written 9 amps of current. This MPCB, the current rating, it is in range. That is from 9 to 14. Let's assume that my motor has a current rating of 10 amps. And this, this MPCB starts from 9. 9. So I'll just to set it slightly higher than the current rating on the motor. So I'll set, let's see. Additional two to read that is eleven. This this starts from nine. So let's say the motor the current rating on the motor is ten amps. So I will set let's say twelve. This is nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I will set it to twelve. Now, the moment I connect the incoming cables to the MPCB and the outgoing the output to the motor when you start the motor sometimes the current rate of the motor 
the moment you start it, it will be higher than the actual current rate written on the motor. But as time goes on, it will settle down. Let's maybe it will it will settle down to eight. But it's on the motor we have ten amps to settle at eight. And when this motor and runs for a long time, it will increase. To increase and it will be even more than the 10 amps 11 or 12 or even 13 and when it reaches the 12 that i've set getting to 13 from the 12 to 13 it will just turn off automatically to shut down the motor and when it's shut down you have to wait for a few minutes and then you start it again if there wasn't any fault, you have to wait for a few minutes and then you start the motor again. That is the overload protection. So it's going to monitor the current. And when it reaches what you have set, it will just shut down for you automatically. And if there wasn't any fault, you have to wait for a few seconds or minutes and then you just come and turn it on. If the moment it shut down and it wasn't a fault, when you turn it on, it will just shut down again. You turn it on, it will shut down. So you have to Wait for a few minutes or seconds and then you turn it on and it will be fine for you that is the overload and the short circuit protection let's assume that you have turned your motor on and it is working and let's say um there was a strands of cable when the cable to the motor there was a strands there was a strand and, and that strand has bridge. Let's say line 3 and line 2, it has bridge. The motor is going to shut down. Or even if it's bridge at the top here, the motor is still going to shut down. And when you use this motor protector for a long time, let's say uh, over months, the, the only for that okay in this MPCB is that when you, when you use it for a long time, the inside it bridge itself because of heat and other stuff it will bridge the, the moment you turn it on then it will just trip you turn it on it will trip that is the short circuit protection and and lastly the phase failure and when your motor is running you have turned it on and one of the lines goes off automatically the motor will shut down this motor protector cannot withstand a loss of phase that phase it will surely damage your motor because your motor needs three phase power and one of them is off so your motor will be run on a half phase so this motor protector is going to shut down your motor for you and over here you can see that you have a test there's a test written over here whenever you want to check whether your mpcb is in good condition just without a cable just turn it on without a load or a cable connected to this Without a load connected, just turn it on and then use your use your screwdriver or whatever you have to just push this to trip by itself, meaning the motor protector is in good condition. And as I said, we have auxiliary contacts on this MPCB, just like this Siemens type. You have it. This is the the auxiliary contact you have the same auxiliary contact on this mpcb you have it here just remove this plastic from here you can see that there's a whole space over here and this space over here is for auxiliary contact block or whatever you might call it i have one here this is the same brand the chant so what i have to do is to insert it now it has perfectly fit and it is the same like this one so whenever you want to do your trip indication those diode your trip indication lights and other stuff you can just use these terminals to do it and this is surface mount you also have other one but i don't have that one here that is the side mount like this one this is a factory made but we have a manual one that you the technician can just install it here this is the front one and the side one but as for the side one, i don't have it here so just now they are the same the only thing that's different here is the current the range of the current this is this one starts from 
9 to 14. And this one also starts from 2.4 to 4 amps. And whenever you are going to buy MPCB, just look at just look at the current rate on your motor before you go and buy MPCB. If you buy a current, the current rating is less than that of your motor. The moment you turn it on, it will just shut down automatically. You turn it on and then it will trip. You turn it on, it will trip. And lastly, as I said before, you are going to uncover basic and professional features on this MPCB. We also have this locker here. This locker. This the Lexi MPC also has the same locker. But this one doesn't have it. It's just on and off. The Siemens. Now, with this locker, sometimes when technicians are working, they, they have to turn off the, the power. And when you, let's say, the, the motor has some problem, let's say the motor, you want to check it out. How to you have to turn the mpcb off and check the problem and when you turn it off you have to pull this plastic over here to ensure that even when someone comes around that person could see that this mpc this mpcb has been turned on intentionally because this plastic locker has been pulled to lock it firmly not even a demon can turn it on unless that demon is an electrician a wicked one you want to cause damages so whenever you turn it on don't remove the cable just pull this just pull it and it will be locked firmly have this one here just pull it you cannot push it i've installed this auxiliary contact block on this chain mpcb let me open this this delixi and try if the same brand auxiliary contact block could work on this delixi mpcb i'll just remove this I have another one here if you want to have a clear view of, of it this is how it looks like 21 22 that is normally close we have 13 and 14 the same numbers the same numbers 21 22 13 and 14 let's insert it if it will work or not thank god this one also fits perfectly you can use it for your and when, when the motor protector is working that indication lamp when it is off, that indication lamp. I hope you know it. If you find this, this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. What I do here is to create electrical videos, only electrical video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.